hey everyone welcome back to my channel in today's story i'll be teaching you how to make a wedding dress string like the one you just saw we'll be doing a miniature version okay now here are the materials we'll be needing for this class your scissors your marker your tape pro the fabric itself i used brighter for this class but the main dress was a mikado silk fabric now even though i'll be cutting a miniature version i'll be using real measurements okay now this waist is 28 inches i'll be dividing by 6.28 and that gives me 4.45 that's the formula for getting the radius of a circle now we will be cutting four circles to have a very full scale guys so we'll divide the 4.45 by 4 and that gives 1.11 which is approximately one so that means each of the circles we have a radius of one inch this should be increased in reality because you'll be pleating the waist of the dress to have a fuller look and for this miniature version i'm actually going to use a half inch so watch me as i go ahead with my calculations okay now the waist length of this is 16 inches the waist length is 16 inches the full length is 60 inches. I'm going to teach you how to get your train measurements now. Since your full length is 60 inches, you subtract it from the 16 inches of the waist length, and that gives you 44 inches. Okay, so that's the normal length of the skirt 44 inches. But then to get your train, it's obviously going to be longer than the regular length of the skirt. So instead of 44 inches, we'll be adding additional inches to it you can use 10 inches extra you can use 20 inches extra you can use 30 inches extra you can use as much as you want guys it depends on how you want your dress to come out okay it depends on what you want exactly and so on and so forth okay so i'm going to go ahead now to fold my fabric into four first you fold your fabric into two just the way i am doing it fold your fabric into two and then you go right ahead and fold it into two again once you're done folding you go back to your measurement remember that the radius for the measurement we used is one inch but for this tutorial i'll be using half inch since i'm working with a miniature don't forget that Okay, so you mark your half inch all around or one inch as the case may be or whatever measurement you are using guys and then the length i'll be using here is eight inches to measure the eight inches you put your tape roll at the starting point as you can see and then you begin to mark the eight inches until you've gotten to the other end of the fabric okay once you're done doing that you can connect the lines so that it will be easier for you to cut it out so i'm going to go right ahead and pick up my scissors then i'll cut off the first part which is the half inch and then i'll cut off the eight inches part two and yeah that's the flay i believe this is pretty easy right so i cut two other flay you know we are going to use four so these are the two other ones making three now we are left with the fourth one the fourth one is going to be majorly for the back and this is where your train is going to be your fabric should be on a fold of two for this part kindly pay attention to what i'm doing at this point because it can be quite tricky so i picked up one of the flay that we cut earlier and then i placed it on the fabric that we folded into two can you see how i placed it right now i'm going to go ahead and cut open just one side of the flay that i placed on the train okay i'm going to go ahead and cut it open because you're going to be joining the three flays together as well as the train part so you need to cut open the circle you know it's still in the form of a circle so i already cut one of it and then on the other side which is going to be the train part i'm going to leave my zipper allowance you can decide to leave one inch or two inches it depends on what you want can you see how i'm folding it the other side that i didn't cut is going to be the part that will have the zipper allowance 
right now i'm going to go ahead to mark the eight inches extra for the train now to the main part getting the shape of the train all you need to do is just to mark the shape of the flay the ones you cut already you keep pushing it towards the length of the train that you marked your marking should follow a straight line just the way i am doing it make sure it's a straight line until you get to the end of the train can you see you then join it towards your zipper allowance and follow the curve of the flay it's just as simple as that once you follow that curve you'll be getting a nicely shaped train you won't need to do so much trimmings if you follow this curve guys it's as simple as that now we'll go ahead to cut out the radius part of the train remember that the radius that we used for this particular miniature one is a half inch and then i'll mark it out the half inch i'll mark it out towards the zipper allowance just mark a straight line towards the zipper allowance after marking out your half inch and then you pick up your scissors and cut it out okay once you're done cutting you go right ahead and open up the zipper allowance of the train the next thing to do is to cut out the curved part of the train okay if you are yet to subscribe to my channel guys kindly do so if you are new to this channel please subscribe like and drop your comments on my post turn on post notification as well so that you get first hand information as soon as i drop contents okay. again to cut the tray you move your flay down gradually towards the end of the tail trace out the shape and cut it out so i'm going to be opening up the other flay you remember i already opened one so this is another one that i'm opening right now there are three circles right three full circles so this is the third one as well i'll be opening it up too and then i can begin to join them i'll go right ahead to pick up one of the circles and place another one on it making sure that the right sides are together okay make sure that your right sides are together using a half seam allowance after joining it i'll go ahead and repeat the same thing for the second flea here is what it looks like after joining guys the next thing is to join the train part to it okay so i'm going to pick one of the train part and join it to one end of the flay okay i'm going to repeat it for the other side too the other flay part will be joined to the other open end the interesting part about all of this is that the joining won't even be obvious at all just look at it it's looking so extra full guys and this is going to come out very beautiful the only part we have left is to join the zipper allowance part now look how beautiful the train is looking already we're going to go ahead right now to join the zipper allowance part so here is what it looks like after joining you have a very full circle and then of course i'm going to go ahead now and pick miniature up my doll which is what i'm going to use to show you how you can achieve a very beautiful skirt okay so i'm going to wear it on it in your own case you would obviously be using a mannequin or your bride so you're going to go out right ahead and begin to pin because you're going to have excess once you cut using this method okay so you begin to pin all around you can either make it inverted pleats or you can do knife pleats it all depends on the look you want to achieve guys it's really coming out beautiful just look at the 360 degree look it's so gorgeous thank you so much for watching this tutorial to the very end i appreciate it kindly give this video a thumbs up bye